All right, today we're going to be talking a little bit about how rogues work, specifically how they activate. And even more specifically, we're going to be talking about the antivirus rogue that I talked about recently, also dubbed as Anvi. And here's basically how the uh, registration works. You load up the site after you have uh, Anvi rooted on your computer. You load the activation site, you put in your credit card info, email address, and all of that. You send it to them, and bad guys get your credit card info and email. They'll go ahead and deduct however much money. I'm sure they store the credit card for further cybercrime or whatever. Then they go ahead and send you an email, including a registration key. And then um, I'm sure the site will also show your registration key. So you'll take that, copy-paste it into the Rogue. Put that in there, including your email address. You hit Activate, and the Rogue closes down, reopens, and you have a text file basically saying, here's your key, and here's a link to re-download this in case if you lose it. Now, if you have even basic knowledge of Rogues, you probably already knew that. So why the hell am I telling you this? Well, there's a, there's a uh, little missing link here. Where does this rogue get this text file that says, here's your activation code, and here's a link to re-download? It's stored in the executable. Well, it's like, well, what do you mean? Well, this is what I mean. All you have to do is open up the uh, main program file in Notepad, and we've got this, uh, you know, you get your average junk that you see if you try to open an executable in Notepad. But there's a certain point where it just turns to plain text. It's right around this area. It's got something called hotspot. I don't know what that means. So we'll just keep going down. And it's saying something about here's your, here's your uh, license key right here. Yeah, stored in plain text in the rogue. Dumb shits. Here's even better. Here's where the text file comes from. Right here. Your registration key is this. Please save it separately. Last version of antiviruses from this site. And... Here's your help and support. Here's your phone number to call help and support. It's all right here. Now, the smart thing to do, if these guys were at least halfway smart, that they would supply this text file from the, their own server instead of storing it locally in the executable, in plain text, unencrypted, unprotected. All somebody has to do is just open this up in Notepad, and they'll be good to go. And to prove that this works, we'll go ahead and run the executable right now. Okay, so now if we go to activate, if it'll let us, we got to stop the scan to do that. So we go to activate. It's going to ask us for an email address and activation code. And it doesn't give a shit about your email address, so we'll just put in dumb shits. And here's our activation code. And we hit activate. And it's saying, thank you for purchasing. Now you can use all functions. Goes ahead and shuts down. And it should pop back up. We'll just force it to pop back up, actually. All right, so we get this pop-up saying it's been activated. Here's some advice about this rogue. And here is the text file that it puts up. Yeah, the same one from this. Yeah, same thing, right? Dumb shits. So yeah, you open and back up the Rogue, and we should see their phone number here at the bottom. And it said registered version on the uh, splash screen. So yeah, contact their live support if you want to, you know, 866-427-1693. I think we can get some support right now, actually. Maybe their site's down, probably. Yeah, yeah, their site's down, probably. And the activation thing is gone up here. All we got is help and support, and we are scanning like a madman. So we're going to go ahead and stop. 
And yeah, that's pretty much it for this little uh, Easter egg in Antivirus. I credit Tom and TKW for finding this. Pretty interesting. I would not have thought to open up the executable in Notepad.